Hello Taurus, welcome to Souls Intersect. I have your December of 2016 Intuitive Tarot reading. I'd like to let you know that I'm offering some promotions this month in celebration of the winter solstice. And I actually have a pro promotion going on each one of my readings, which I haven't done before. All the details are listed below and the link to my website is there as well. And one other thing is that I am going to be doing annual 2017 readings for each sign that will be released in December, possibly in the beginning of January. So keep your eyes peeled for those as well. All right, so let me take you through the cards first. In the top left, I have the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups in the center, and then the Ten of Pentacles on the right. In the center row, Two of Swords, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. And then in the bottom row, the Knight of Pentacles, the Death card, and Six of Wands. And on the bottom of the deck is the Fairy Stallion, which in this particular deck is the Chariot. Okay, so the first thing is these three knights. So this is a, a pretty powerful message that's coming through. I feel that you are represented by the Knight of Pentacles. Showing up below this Two of Swords, I see you having a tough decision to make, and I'd be willing to bet the decision is something related to two people. It's, it could be two ideas, and I'll come to that in a moment. But two people represented by the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So, especially in terms of a romantic issue, I do sense that there may be a need to choose between these two, or if not a need, it might just feel like the time is right to do that. Both The chariot can also be uh, like being pulled in different directions too, and it's not depicted quite like that in this, in this artwork, but it definitely carries that energy still. And then of course the two of swords can be about a difficult decision as well. So the death card in this case, I feel is coming through, representing an ending to one of these, uh, like, relations with one of these people, or emotional ties to one of these people, or communication with one of those people. And that's, in fact, if it, if, if it is in fact a person, or choosing between two people. So the Knight of Wands could definitely be a fire sign, and the Knight of Swords could definitely be an air sign. But it's not necessarily, so I'm going to tune into the two individual energies to see if I can, I can better explain or get a closer read on this. I definitely sense passion in this Knight of Wands character. It feels like someone who's more interested in the outdoors and nature and is probably a bit more, you know, doesn't necessarily have a temper but might be a little feisty. And the Knight of Swords feels more like a thinker, a little bit quieter in this case, although swords can be verbal or very vocal. I, I, I'm picking it up more on the thinking side of it, so this could actually be an introvert in this case. Someone who is maybe a little bit more bookish and definitely quieter. So that might help you distinguish between the two as well. And it could be ideas. So, for example, in terms of a job, those two things could be describing those two options as well. One feels a little bit more artistic and, and like I said, passionate, fiery, and the other one more cerebral and more related to something, probably something you'd be spending more time on a computer doing or reading, doing research, things like that. So there's definitely a choice and it does not feel like an easy choice. I do feel like you'll be making the choice by the end of the year or maybe you know moving into next year. And this isn't telling me what choice to make, though this Knight of Wands is coming up in the center of the reading, so that could be a clue. It does feel a little bit more, more central. Then again, it's coming up above the Death card. So this is probably going to be different for different people. Regardless, I feel like the fact that the Knight of Wands is in the center does kind of tell me that if that happens to be the one that you decide to leave behind, the option or the person, it might be that that attachment might be a little bit harder to let go of. And it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the one to let go of, though. 
I do see, though, I'll, I'll point out that the Knight of Swords is coming up below the Ten of Pentacles and above the Six of Wands. So I am, I am sensing for a lot of you, and again, this, this won't be the, the case for both. The, the reading is about the decision, and I'm going to come to a little bit more on how to make the decision. So I don't want to tell you what the outcome is, but I will give you a little bit more information about either one. I sense, especially in terms of, in relation to a romantic partnership, the Knight of Wands feels like there's more of an attachment. It would be harder to let go of, but it might be a better decision to let go of. I see it coming up above the Death card and below the Seven of Cups, and it feels like that person might just be, might have their head in the clouds a little bit too much. They might be too much of a dreamer. The passion is beautiful, and I feel like it's something that you're probably really attracted to, and but but um, it feels like it may not be the best option for you. Although my cat would like you to choose that one, looks like. Um, on the other hand, with the Knight of Swords, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is about victory, and. The Ten of Pentacles is very much about fulfillment, more on the practical level, but it can be in relation to a relationship as well. In other depictions, you do see a couple or a family on that card a lot. It feels like more security. And so you can see how, in a way, it, they almost have an opposite energy. One might be more attractive, but might not be as stable or as beneficial to you in the long run, whereas the other, the Knight of Swords, may be the opposite. So, but that's not to say there might not be other reasons. Maybe for you, the you're not looking right now for that Ten of Pentacles kind of stability. Maybe you're looking for an adventure. So that's why it's going to differ. But, I, you know, just pointing out that the way the reading is going, it does look like it's leaning that way. Now, in, in especially in relation to work, or I would say in relation to work as well, it seems also like that the Knight of Swords option if it's a job, for example, it does feel more secure. It does feel like maybe the best bet. So I want to come to the actual decision and a little bit more information about how to make it as well, because we have the Seven of Wands in the top left. I think you had this last month, actually. And I was picking up on some crown chakra energy, protecting your crown, possibly a breakthrough for you, coming through where, where spirit is entering your aura in a stronger way. So your intuitive skills may increase, may pick up. And I feel like that energy is still with you. And I'm also sensing the Seven of, of Cups in this, in this uh, in, at least in relation to the Seven of Wands, because it can definitely be that having your head in the clouds kind of dreamer thing. And it was coming through that way for this Knight of Wands character or in relation to that job option, but I'm also picking up on it next to the Seven of Wands as you can see the stars around the crown there as well. So I feel like it's reinforcing that idea of messages coming through your crown. And the Two of Swords is very much about not using your head necessarily to make a decision. It's about going inward and producing the answer from inside while doing your best to silence, at least temporarily, your other senses. And so th those three cards together are really telling me that you're going to find that answer within. So although this reading offers some clues about how to choose or maybe which one to choose even, that may be enough for you. But honestly, the other because of the underlying message in the reading being that you should take some time to go inward to discover without, because it's not so much about rational decisions, so going inward to discover the answer in the highest vibrational space possible and to allow your guidance to come through for you to help you make that decision. That seems like it needs to be done. I feel like even if some of the elements of the reading spoke to you and feel like they, they have helped you in making a decision you might be making, I feel like it's still necessary to take that other action, to go within, to spend some time meditating on it. And you coming up as the Knight of Pentacles is also not, it's not just 
that it's your earth element, Taurus. It feels like, you know, this can be very slow, slow moving night. So I really feel like it's going to be about taking that time to make the decision. And the two of swords can also be about taking your time. So spend some more time seeking out the answer. And I feel like the, the decision will be made when the time is right. You will know when it's right. And just one final message about the Seven of Wands, and this came up, I think it was last month's reading, to also protect. If you're doing that, if you're going within more, if you're doing more meditating, allowing information to come through your crown, please be sure to protect. And even this visual on the Seven of Cups card, the stars around the crown, and even that green light, that feels like you could even just visualize that to be protective. That, that might be helpful for some of you. Um, but definitely allow things to come through, but make sure that you're protecting yourself as well. All right, Taurus, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you have any questions, please email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. Thank you.